Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah. I think you got it. Yeah. Sorry, I like. You get your box back. Yay. Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm looking at this, the Warrior Mini 3. And she is a beaut, let me tell you. I've been lucky enough to have had a Warrior Mini, the Warrior Mini 2, which is my current uh, go-to flashlight or torch, and Olight have bought out three. So I got one and I'm gonna compare it to, to the two and uh, see which one I think is better and whether it's worth paying for an upgrade. Um, just off the bat, these are the differences in height there you can see, and it is very ever so slightly slimmer. Can't really see it on the camera, but tiny bit slimmer, tiny bit slimmer. So a little bit, little bit lighter, a little bit slimmer. Uh, we've got the same clip these clips from Olight are great, so you can slide them down so onto a belt like that, or onto a bill of a cap with that one. Whatever you want to do, you can turn them around and um, you know take them off if you don't want them on there. If you prefer it just to be sort of like a clean hold in your hand, they really are good. Now, the nice people at Olight said to me when I got this one, would you mind very much doing another video like you did with your Warrior Torch, which is now three years old, where I froze it, I cooked it in the oven, um, we, what else did we do? We threw it out of a window, put it in water, you name it, we've done it, like a lot of videos on YouTube. And I said, yeah, yeah no problem. I drove over it with a, with a three and a half ton van, I think as well. And it survived everything except for being in the hands of a 10 year old where he was smashing it repeatedly against a brick wall. And eventually, of course, it gave up, right? But it went above and beyond the call of duty. So the Warrior Mini 3. Um, I've got some nighttime footage, which I'll splice into the video now. And you can see the differences between the two. So perhaps if you've got an old one to a new one, but just looking at them, in the flesh, I have to say, the new one is nicer. Not just because it's a little bit smaller in the hand, the buttons, you see the buttons on the end there? I don't know whether this little camera is gonna pick, do it justice, but it's, it's more tactile, the button on this. It's actually a little bit bigger. The other one's a little bit small. I've got quite small hands, but I prefer the button on the new one. The button on the old one was okay, it did the job, but the tail switch is definitely where the new one wins. There's no doubt about it. It's so much easier. What oh, bright. See a little press, you get a little um, sort of level two, I think it is, and then you press them both in, you get the full whack. The old one has these little raised edges around it where the new one is just, just completely flat, which I prefer. And that's also, like the old one, it's the, the rear tail cap charging, which pretty much every Olight has. That'll work on the old one as well. Quite like that. It's nice and easy to work. Um, in the box, the old one came with these sort of plasticky lanyards, which are okay. The new ones come with these and there's a little sticky thing on there and you can stick that onto something and then perhaps in a cupboard or a shelf and your O-Light will just sit quite nicely. I find the hinge of a cupboard door, these uh, where I store mine and they just sit in there. So yeah, I've used this on an overnight camp and yeah, it performed as you would expect flawlessly. Really great little torch, uh, lots of little modes. We've got, let's have a look. We can start with moonlight mode. Uh, 100 days, that will last on moonlight mode, 100 days. I'm just reading for the box, so sorry if it's um, annoying. Uh, low, that's 165 hours, and that'll do a 20 meter throw. Medium, that's 120 lumens, 18 hours. Ooh, high. Um, 
it starts off at 500 lumens, 215 minutes, then it will drop to 200 lumens for a further 30 minutes. And then you've got turbo, which is, uh, oh, I can't even work that out. Oh, okay, 1750 lumens, and then it will, for two, two minutes, then it will drop for 210 minutes at 500 lumens, and then a further 30 minutes at 200 lumens. That is getting excessively hot at the end though. We'll say that, obviously, you're not gonna hold a torch like that, are you? You're gonna hold it like this. So we'll leave that on and see. Um, yeah, 240 meter throw, which is pretty impressive. Quite like that. Um, the little, I don't know if you can see that there. Please excuse the background noise. It's summertime here and I've got my doors open. My neighbors are a bit noisy. That will go to amber and then red. So you've got three levels of battery indication. Um, obviously, like all low lights, waterproof. Do it the other way as well, just for, yeah. And drop resistant to five meters. So we should survive a gentle throw, shouldn't we? Which obviously it does. And you'd fully expect it to as well. I've just realized the noise is not from my neighbors, it's from my wife upstairs, still. So yeah, so you expect, you expect the torch to be able to be dropped and uh, in the occasional puddle and things like that. And I was thinking, what could I do to make this video a little bit more exciting than the last one? It's gonna be a tough one, um, but I do have someone here with some, um, some guns. So we're gonna see if we can shoot this. Now, for those of you in the US, I appreciate these are not proper guns like you have, you lucky people. These are airsoft guns, uh, but I've done airsoft and believe you me, when it catches you, those little pellets do hurt. So we'll see what the O-Light makes of it. All right, so we've got the old and we've got the new. Oh, let's see, what, you, what have we got, Jack? It's a P226 okay. pistol. Uh, gas. Gas one. Okay, right, so let's see whether uh, we can try and not hit the GoPro. And I'm going to put some goggles on as well, just for safety. Mm. Look at that. Oh, man down. Maybe the other one. Oh, great hit. Oh, look at that split the, the thing in half, the little pellet. <laughs> Look, I can see it. There's a little pellet. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, I don't see any damage to that at all. I think it caught it just on the edge there. Tiny, tiny mark. Otherwise, we're all good. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. We got it just there, I think. Mm. So, what's next? What else have you got in your arsenal? Oof. Well, I can move up to heavier weights. Yeah. Or, um, oh, we've got a, a bigger gun. The bigger gun. Oh, hello. What have we got there? That looks like something a little bit more serious. All right, that's that position that you guys so you can see. I'm hoping my son doesn't ruin my camera either. That's why we're using the GoPro, not my good camera. It's my own fault. You can aim for the lens, not the camera lens. <laughs> Lots of pellet shrapnel everywhere. Oh my god, I need to okay, I need to get new ones then because a bit higher. Oh, can't see because of course it's uh, it's blinding you. Oh I hit something. <laughs> keep going for the box, keep going for the box. Yes. Oh there we go. Nice repetitive shots, I think is good. Oh yeah, so you can see on the box. Straight through. Yeah, <laughs> sure, that's what we expected. No damage to either. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a little bit of a paint chip there. Oh no, it's not. It's actually the um, the white from your pellet. <laughs> yeah. Well, keep them off this time so I can actually see. <laughs> we'll keep them off. Okay. All right. So we'll try to get again with um, 
your assault rifle, shall we? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> that's 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 untouched. I can see a few marks here. Yeah, there's a, and there's here. a few dents on it. Right, um, if it's, if it's, ah, you missed the box as well. Yeah, there's a few chips to the um, to the bezel. So did I hit it or not? Well, yeah, you must have done. We'll see in the replay, won't we? Do you reckon they'll still work? Uh, of course they will. Yeah, what's that? Straight, just like right there. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for context, um, Jack, my son, is shooting at about, he's about that much behind the camera, so he's probably, I don't know, what do you reckon, 20 inches behind the camera, something like that. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, oh, I, I did shoot it. Oh. You did. So, look at that. Will it still work? Yeah. Of course it does. It went for the old one. I'm not <laughs> going to push it. Hey, look at that. Oh. Mm. Yeah, look, you did hit it. Look, we've got we've got a damaged lens, which to be is expected. Still works though, of course. God, I tell you, they are really good. These aren't they? Okay, so um, lens is damaged on the old, probably didn't hit the new, but we'll, we'll assume that it will. Um, I've got a few more tests to do before we completely destroy it. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I wonder whether it did hit the new one. I mean, there's some marks in there, so it may well be the new one's just tougher. Wow, okay. Next test, I think. I wasn't going to bother filming this in the freezer, but why not? So we've got it on moonlight mode. Let's see whether that's still working. It is Saturday, the 8th of July at 6 minutes past 8. Uh, well, 6 minutes past 6, I should say, on Saturday, the 8th of July. So let's come back to you in, I don't know, 24 hours, whenever I remember that it's still in there. So remember that moonlight mode should last for a hundred and something days. So, let's see. Here we go with the prawns and the fish fingers. Uh, got a very full freezer. There it is. Okay, goodbye. So it's the next morning, it's 9.53 on the 9th of July, so, She's been in all night. So that'll simulate perhaps leaving it outside in a frozen country. <laughs> Light is still on. Let's, uh, let's put the camera down so you can have a good old look. And do you know what's even cooler, right? I didn't want to destroy a brand new battery. So the batteries are the same in this uh, as the Perrin head torch. So what I did was I put the old Perrin battery, which is, I think it's three or maybe four years old. I'll, I'll have to look back on the, uh, on the videos. And uh, I put that in there. So actually it's a battery that's already been out camping cold weather, hot weather, car windscreens, getting hot, getting cold. And she's still good. Now, just by chance, look, I think we can, can we get, oh no, I was hoping I'd get to the, the button there, but not quite. I was gonna see whether I could cycle through the modes before we, before we smash her up. So let's, uh, let's smash it, shall we? Okay, so my boy is gonna chuck it out of one of these windows. My little house. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's like, Can I throw it out? I said, Yeah. So it's. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, that's a five, ten meter drop. Ten meter. 
so I didn't know for it too hard. <laughs> Still working. Still working. Nice. Yeah. I'm always relieved these kinds of videos when the thing still works. I think, oh no, if it breaks, it just makes the product look crap. But you know, what's that? That's got to be a 10 meter drop or throw. Thanks, boy. And uh, yeah, we're good. Let's see if the button works. It's cold to the touch. <laughs> mm, I can't push it in. The rear button is still. Ah, oh, yes. Of course it works. What's next? Let's try that button again. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Freeze test completed. Still working. Awesome. Right. So we've got old and we've got new. So let's do new. There's new to the left. There's old. Old. That's is that on full? Yeah, that's on full new big difference i appreciate this is the yellow and that's the sort of crisp ice white but that is a big difference isn't it that old new yeah yeah you can see it there it's more yellowy yeah Candlelight mode. Candlelight. That's um, mode one. Turbo. One. One. Two, three, old, new, about the same I'd say on level three. Yeah. New, full turbo, old. Not much in it but it's definitely brighter isn't it 